Vas-y. Yo, what's up? I'm uh, trying to get my stream set up, guys. I'm trying to figure this out. I have a whole new setup, so this is going to be a little interesting for me right now. One second. I promise I will be right back. Actually, fuck it. We're just going to go for it. Ugh. This live streaming stuff is not easy at all. All right, we're just going to go for it. We're going to go for it. How does the stream look, guys? Is it laggy or is it clear? I watch the future all the time. Like, that's my favorite channel. Yo, what up, Brandon? All right, cool, cool. So if it looks good, we're going to go for it. I'm trying to go to my stream dashboard real quick. Give me one second, guys. Actually, I don't really need it. All right, cool. So today I thought I would do some designs in Photoshop and just show you guys how to do some type-based designs. How does that sound? And I'm drinking my coffee at the same time. Who are you? I am Charlie Pangus. I'm a graphic designer here on YouTube. Welcome. Is there any questions you guys have before we begin? I have oatmeal here too, by the way. <laughs> any questions at all? What's up, Kevin? Somebody mentioned, uh, Laura, you mentioned Udemy. Thanks for buying my Udemy course, I appreciate that. <laughs> Anna, what's up? Anna is my girlfriend's sister. She's staying at our house. It was just her birthday. Can everybody say happy birthday? She turned 18. Big ol' 18. I appreciate that, Laura. I'm going to do another one.
I can hear her laughing in the other room. Yeah, we're doing Photoshop today. I got another scene set up here in a second, and it's uh, we're gonna do everything in Photoshop. Yeah, we could do it a little later. It's kind of hard because I have people from all around the world, so it's like finding a the finding the right time is impossible. But I'm gonna do the best I can. I'll I'll try to change it up a little bit. Everybody spam happy birthday for Anna. We just bought her a PS4. She's about to call the duty it up with us. <laughs> if you're just tuning in, we are going to do some designing live. And um, you guys are going to watch me do some stuff. I'm excited. Uh, this live should be saved. Should. Jersey. Happy birthday. happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Everybody say happy birthday. Come on, let's blow the chat up. Let's get this started right. Come on, guys. You got this. I need to wake up a little bit anyway. Come on. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Yo, I'm good, guys. I'm feeling good today. Thanks for tuning in. Sweet. Okay. So, a lot of you have been asking me to do text-based t-shirt designs. So we're going to do that, all right? And um, I can hear myself every time I say something, so that's good. I have to fix that. I don't want to hear myself. I, like, I hear my echo every time I say a word. <laughs> we got to fix that. That's why I delayed the live stream, guys, because I bought a brand new streaming setup so I can use my Canon R to stream for you guys instead of you seeing my shitty webcam. All right, we're going to take those headphones off. Um, I do private sessions, but uh, most people don't want to pay what I charge. I usually do like 50 an hour uh, for live sessions, but you learn a lot like in a short amount of time and I'm surprised more people don't do that. But uh, yeah, I mean, they're very uh, worth it. I mean, you learn a lot. You get to learn from a designer that's been doing it a long time. So in my opinion, it's worth it. But anyway, do you guys want music or anything? Should we play some music before we get started here? Let me get this other scene going. Yo, let's put some music on and then let's get started, guys. We're going to do some cut look. like uh, It's going to be some cut up text look. And then I'm going to add some shadows and just show you guys how that all works. It's going to be fun, man. This is going to be a good one. We're going to do this for about an hour or two. If you guys are just tuning in, thank you so much for joining me today. 43 viewers already. I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm not going to lie. I was expecting 20. So we just freaking doubled that. Can we triple it, though?
that's not a good song. <laughs> not at all. No thank you. If it's too loud, let me know, guys. No, Illustrator is always going to be clearer. Illustrator is a, what you call it, uh, Illustrator is a vector-based program. So with vector, you're not working with pixels. You're working with uh, vector images, right? Lossless images. So um, with that being said, when you scale things in Illustrator, you're not going to lose quality. With Photoshop, you are going to lose quality. Um, for this, for the dimensions of this one, I'm doing it a little smaller because I don't want my CPU to die on me. I'm streaming at the same time I'm designing. So I'm doing a 2500 by 2500, 300 resolution document because I'm only doing text-based designs right now. I'm not really too concerned about doing a normal t-shirt document right now. So that's the purpose of that. But normally when I'm designing for a t-shirt, I would do something in the ballpark of 14 by 18 inches, 300 resolution because I am designing for a t-shirt. But right now, this is just for fun and to show you guys how to do things. And, and a lot of people ask me, should I design in CMYK or should I design in RGB? Um, honestly, it doesn't matter. Like, your screen printer is going to do what they're gonna do with it anyway. They're gonna convert the colors to Pantone colors most of the time. So it really doesn't matter if you do it RGB or CMYK. That's not even the first thought you should have when designing. You should be thinking about the process first. Colors always come last for me. I don't really worry about color yet. Can you guys hear that music? I kind of want it to be faded. I don't want it to be too um, obnoxious. Anyway, uh, I'm going to hit T on my keyboard and start doing some text-based designs. So let's type out something here. I want a bold font, so I'm going to use this one called Azo Sans, Azo Sans, however you want to say it. And I want to make sure it is visible. So usually when you don't type anything, it's going to put Lorem Ipsum. Wu-Tang? <laughs> no, it is not Wu-Tang. I'm going to try my best to uh, get to your guys' questions, but uh, you, we got to grind here, man. We got some stuff to get done. So anyway, uh, somebody give me a text line. Give me like a quote or something. Something short, okay? Like, I'll give you an example. This is it. Give me something really short, and I'm going to do something with it right now. 14 by 18, 300 DPI is the way to go when you're designing for a t-shirt. You want to make it bigger so you can shrink it. It's always better to downscale versus upscaling, okay? Remember that in Photoshop. If you're designing for a shirt, make it a little bigger on purpose. It's going to impress your client because when you go to downscale, it's going to look crisp and yeah. This is not Wu-Tang, I don't think. I hope not. Actually, I like the Live, Laugh, Love one. Sex, sexy by nature, streets of Africa. Live, laugh, love. Let's do that one. First, live. So I'm gonna do different text lines for this, okay? And the reason why is because I wanna make it look crazy. Live, laugh, and I gotta make sure, sure I'm spelling things correctly so I don't embarrass myself. Love, just like that. What do I want to do? I want to center this. All right, that's cool. We're going to scale it up. But I want to do it evenly, so I'm holding in shift. And another thing you could do is you can lock the dimension so you don't have to do any of that. And it will scale the height and width automatically. We're gonna do a bunch of them, guys, don't worry. If I didn't choose yours, don't worry. We're, I'm just kinda doing it as I go. So don't even worry about it. Live, laugh, love, I like that. It's simple, you know, that's what I was going for. So I'm gonna add a skew to this. Um, and then let's go ahead and, uh, you know, do some crazy shit here. So we're gonna make it, I wanna make things a little closer on purpose. 
Bam. Okay, we're going to really squish this together, but you're going to see why in a second here. Just like that. And then um, I want to create a duplicate copy of this. And then we're going to rasterize this, okay? And again, you're going to see why in a second. So we're going to merge this together, and we're just going to cut this up a lot. So I want to make sure I, I make some slices. How do I want to do this? Let's do one like right here. Cut that, paste that, and then let's lower the opacity on this so I can see what I just did there. And we're gonna do the same thing for this top part. Cut that, paste that, lower the opacity, just so I can see what I'm doing, right? I wanna, I wanna see where these cuts are. So this top one um, looks good. Let's go ahead and change the color though. Let's go ahead and do like a, let's do like a red color. Why not? Rasterize that. All right, now we can change these back to 100% fill. Wu-Tang is for the children. This ain't it, Chief. That's a good one. I think you spelled Chief wrong, though, buddy. I'm messing with you, though. <laughs> All right, so what I want to do is actually make sure Live is a different color. Or, sorry, not. What am I talking about? I want to make sure the black parts are a different color, okay? So I'm going to choose, like, a darker tone. Um, or we can say, you know what? Let's do this for a black background. This is going to be a much easier way of doing it. So instead of doing it that way, what I want to do is make sure these are white. Let's just make them white. Keep this simple. Rasterize these. So what I'm going to do is add shadows to make these bottom parts uh, really stand out. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to title this middle. Top. Bottom. Bam. All right, cool. So I want to add a layer above bottom, add a layer mask. I'm going to go to my soft brush, OK? I have a soft brush. And then we're going to make sure this is on dissolve. And with that black uh, text, or with that black um, foreground color selected, we're going to start just painting. But we want to make this brush much smaller. And I'm using a keyboard and mouse right now, OK? We're going to do something like this, like that. We're going to add a layer above the top layer, and we're going to do the same thing. you see what's happening? And then these bottom layers, uh, we probably should make them like gray or something instead. So let's go ahead and make them gray or like a different color in general. Just slightly gray. I'm going to rasterize that. Yeah, I think that looks better. But I did miss some parts, so I need to go back and do this again. There we go. And this effect is really going to depend on how you cut it, okay? If that makes sense. Like, it's, it's going to be very dependent on how you make your cuts because the effect can look really cool or look really, really bad. I think I did a decent job for my first go around, but I think I could have cut it a little better, to be honest with you guys. But it's fine. It's just to show you. Look at that. So now you got this, like, 3D effect going on. Dude, it's, it is like taking a Photoshop class. Dude, we got 73 people in here. What the fudge? Holy shit. I love you guys so much. Fast and Furious vibe? That's what we should have put, Fast and Furious. So yeah, that's one way, right? This is just one little thing I just did. And you could do this method so many different ways. Um, 
So, again, let's recap what we just did. Can I one can one person explain to me what I just did there? Explain to me how that process just worked. I want to see if you guys understand this. One person, okay? Somebody, anybody, explain what I just did. Actually, yeah, let's add a freaking heart. Why not? Let me go grab a heart real quick on Google. You can always re you can just make a heart too. You feel tingly inside? Oh man, you're funny, bro. You're actually funny. It's at a big fat ass freaking heart behind it. Add a layer mask. Let me change my flow. See what we're doing here, guys? We're creating some dimension. And then we're gonna add some of this back, don't worry. Look at that, guys. This is badass. Yo, what up, Geeky? Well, it's not not destructive. Actually, I did work destructive on this particular one. Let me tell you why. I made things a raster layer. When you rasterize a layer, you cannot change it anymore, okay? Um, if you want to work non-destructively with text, you don't want to rasterize it or convert it to a smart object. Does that make sense? Excuse me. Um, you want to keep it a normal text object. But when you rasterize it, again, you can't edit it after that. You slice the text and added a threshold mask below and above. I, I don't know if I would call it a, a threshold mask, but I did add a layer above and I did rasterize them. Basically, here's what I did, guys. I created some text, right? I added a skew, which does this to the text, right? You're kind of warping the text and moving, you know, the, the right side or the left side up, depending on how you do it. And then we used the lasso tool to slice the text. I cut that and pasted it back in on its own layer. So each piece has its own layer that I cut out. And I changed the color of the bottom pieces that I wanted to make it, you know, basically whatever piece is at the bottom, I changed the color of them to make them look like they're behind the middle part of the text, right, which is white. So now we have this white part that's above, and we have these gray parts that are below, and then I textured, I added a new layer for each bottom part and added some texture using a dissolve brush, and that's it. That's all I did, and then I just quickly added a heart. And we did that in a matter of like, what, a minute, two minutes? So we just have like one, let's, let's count, one, two, three, four, four components, right? We have four different components going on. We have a top, middle, bottom, and then we have two texture layers, and we added the heart behind it, added a layer mask, and then used a dissolve brush to give it that nice and gritty look, and that's it. Simple. All right, give me one more text line, guys. I want something gritty. Let's do something cool and gritty. Um, give me something that's like, I don't know, like a metal band or something. Thank you guys, appreciate it. I think this is actually a dope design. This I can see this being sold on, um, what do you call it? Uh, Amazon or something. 
We don't need that layer. You guys want this file for free after we're done here? Release the Kraken? That's actually pretty dope, I'm not even gonna lie. I like that. Thank you. Allison Chains. Actually, let's do some Allison Chains. What kind of style? I'm gonna do some gritty ass style. Streets of Africa, maybe we could do second. Ooh, System of a Down. Oh, you guys are killing me. There's so many good ones. Let's do Allison Chains. I want to do it in like a vintage, like new, like old, like New York Street font or like old Paris or something. All right, I actually have a really sick font for this. Alice, that's alive. I have a font called Ancient. You can find this on dafont.com. Ancient. Ooh. Alice in Chains. You know what I'm doing, guys? I'm figuring out structure, right? We're figuring out structure. You always got to figure out the structure of something before you uh, start adding like all the flavor to it, right? That's weird. Why is it doing that? Um, this should be live on the channel after we're done here. Yeah. Let's do that, Alice in Chains. That's a weird, oh, you know what it is? That, that was too spaced out. I was like, why is it looking weird? We're gonna grunge this up a lot, guys, like a lot. You're, see, you're, you're gonna see in a second. I have like three different ways I texture. I don't like that. Maybe I could do chains going up a little bit like that. Honestly, I don't even know what my favorite song is from Alice in Chains. I, I, I haven't listened to them in a long time, I'll be honest with you guys, but I used to like them a lot. Um, I feel like I need to start listening to them again. I'm debating on if I want to use this font or not, guys. I'm, I'm really debating. Let's do this. Warp. Arc lower. I'm going to do this. Make that a little smaller. That fits way better in my opinion. Way better in my opinion. All right, so let's group this together. Duplicate it. Let's uh, convert this to a smart object. And I want to add a perspective on it. And make this do this. Just so it appears bigger, larger, right? Honestly, it's going to depend on your flavor, guys. Like, everybody's going to have their own, like, you know, uh, 
everybody's going to have their own style. Like, some people might like this font, some people might not like it, you know? It, it depends on the person. Um, but what I'm going to do is texture it real quick and see if I can save it. If I can't save it, I'm just going to delete it and start over. And another thing, another thing you could do is this. Watch this. You could go here. Well, let's let's try one more font real quick. First and foremost. Let me see if I can find another font that I like. Ooh, this one's dope. I wanted it to be grungy looking, you know? Alice. That's a weird A. I don't like that A. Nope, not gonna happen. I don't like the A. We're gonna choose two different fonts on this one, okay? I'm going for like an old English look on this one. I want it to look kind of vintage and worn out. So we're gonna we're gonna get there, but I need to find the right font first. Let's do chains and caps. Change the kerning. Let's try that. Ooh, I like this font. I've used this one before. I like this font a lot. We're gonna go with it. This font's dope. It's got like something imp like just not perfect about it, but I love it. Alice. Ooh, I like this one. You know, and another thing is um, sometimes overcomplicating things can also be bad. So, like, do I really need to make the N I N smaller? No, I probably don't. You know, it might be something as simple as this that might work. See? that To me, that looks cool. That's just my opinion. All right, we're going to try this one, too. Just keep it simple, right? I'm going to merge this together. Now let's go ahead and grunge this up a lot. So I'm going to convert this to a smart object. This is going to be uh, version 1. We're going to do version 2. We're going to, we had to get some, we got to get somewhere on this. Let me go ahead and find some texture real quick. I'm going to go to Google real quick. Um, let's type in... Actually, I already have a texture I downloaded. So what I'm going to do is go to, uh, I'm going to add a new file real quick, a new document, and we're going to make it the same exact size we have now. So I'm going to create that new document, and I'm going to drag a texture that I downloaded into my document here. My computer's thinking, one second. You'll see, guys, in a second. Trust me. P patience, man. It's going to look dope when we're done. I promise you. Yo, where the fudge is the texture? I don't know what my shit's doing. Hold on. Try that one more time. There it is. Okay, that took a year. My Photoshop's being weird, guys. One second. A little Fleetwood Mac. I kind of agree with that, actually. Oh, I gotta restart Photoshop, guys. One second. This, it's being weird. That's why I don't like Photoshop. It does this all the time. All right, let's do this again. All right, now I'm gonna go new, do the same thing I just did. 
I think it's because I have it at 70 or 300 resolution, so let's just take that away. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create a displacement map, okay? So I need to take a texture, any texture, it doesn't matter, and we're going to create a displacement map for that texture. So this is a texture, right? So what I want to do is save this on my desktop as texture map, whatever you want to name it, it doesn't matter. Texture map, like that. Version 1, because this is our first texture, save this as a Photoshop file. And watch this shit come to life, guys. It's going to be crazy. So this first version, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Filter. We're going to go to Distort. And we're going to go to Displace. And what we're going to do is uh, keep everything the same. But we want to uh, go ahead and hit OK. And we want to select that texture on our uh, desktop. Look at that. Bam! And it's textured. That's it. That's all you have to do. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Isn't it crazy? I have no tips for IG growth, guys. I'm not even growing on I, uh, Instagram. If you guys can follow me on Instagram and show me some love on there, that would mean a lot because I am not getting any love on there. I'm not even going to lie. Yo, so that's the first part, right? And if I want to grunge this up even more, what I could do is uh, select the entire canvas, hit Copy Merged, paste that, Hide everything else. We're going to go to filter, uh, noise, add noise. And we're going to grunge this up a lot. And then I'm going to go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, however you want to say that. Go up to levels now. We're going to start moving these tones around. The goal is to get this to look grungy, right? Go to Filter, Gaussian Blur again. We're just going to keep repeating this process. Kind of like that. And now we have some texture. Look at that, guys. Yes. One second. Is that better? <laughs> All right, Paul. I remember that. I won't forget about you. I promise, man. Dude, thank you, man. From Haiti. All right, so let's do this one now, guys. So again, the same process. We're going to go to Distort, Displace, hit OK, and then choose that Displace map. And look at that. Right away, you have a grunge text. You, that, it's simple as that. Like All I did was add a Displacement map. That's it. Simple. I'm going to make a video on that, a full video. That's the fun thing about Photoshop, guys, is you can literally, I keep looking down here, I noticed, um, but you can literally learn anything you want in Photoshop just by looking it up on YouTube. Like, I just learned this method of texturing, believe it or not. I know so many other ways of texturing, but this one is really fun, and I thought I would share it with you guys, so. Anytime, man, anytime. Um, 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 another method. Uh, you guys want to see a Chrome method to make your text look Chrome? Let me know.
And if you guys are not following me on Instagram at Charlie Pangus, then you guys are not true fans. I'm just saying that right now. Okay, I'm gonna do a test with you guys. Who is not following me on Instagram? If you're not following following me on Instagram, follow me right now. I'm gonna give you guys a code to get something on my website for free. So follow me on Instagram right now and send me a DM and I will give you guys a code. Just say, hey Charlie, I just followed you. Can I get the code? And I will give you guys a surprise and I will give you guys access to this document today. All right, I'm trying to get my Instagram up. So follow me on Instagram right now, guys. Let's pause this. Follow me on Instagram. Let's get that shit blowing up. Show us everything you know. I'll try. So we have two different versions. And then what I need to do is actually take the background out real quick so I can change the color. So I just take that background out, bam. And now we got two different versions living side by side. Okay. All right, who's not following me? How many people are in here are not following me on Instagram? All right, cool. So again, add me on Instagram at Charlie Pangus and send me a DM and I'll give you guys something free in my store. Thank you guys. I appreciate it, man. Your guys' support honestly means a lot to me. So now we have two different versions of Alice in Chains, right? Like, I mean, is this their logo? No, it's not. But can it be? Maybe. You know, it depends on what you're going for here. So we got two right there. Somebody already follows me, nice. If you guys already follow me, I love you, thank you. Holy shit, you guys are blowing my Instagram up right now. You guys are insane. You guys are literally insane. You guys are literally blowing my Instagram up. This is crazy. I love you guys so much. I really do. After this live, I am going to give you guys something for free. And it's going to be a code or something like that, like a discount code. And I'm going to let you guys get whatever you want in my store. Like, that's the bottom line. All right, so that's Allison Chains. Anybody? Okay, so uh, Streets of Africa next. Is that what you said, Streets of Africa? Bangladesh, what's up? Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to do Streets of Africa, as promised. Streets of Africa. Right? Is that what you said, Streets of Africa? Hey, I appreciate it. I'm honestly like, I before if you if you were to talk to me like maybe, uh, let's say a year year ago, even nine months ago, ten months ago, I was in a different headspace. I was just like, man, I'm not cool enough for anybody. Like my graphic design sucks. I'm not a good artist, and I wasn't really giving myself any credit. And now I'm on this mission to like help everybody with graphic design and become one of the best teachers out there and teach people merch design and just make the best content I can possibly make while trying to maintain myself, you know? And that's kind of where I'm at now with it. I, 
I can't believe it took you guys that long to follow me on Instagram. But you know what? I am so happy you are now. So thank you. Welcome to the family. I love you guys so much. And um, this channel is going to be blowing up in the next like five months, I promise you guys. I'm going to have so much content out there for you guys. It's going to be insane. And some of it might even be repetitive. Who knows? Because a lot of these topics that we talk about, it could be talked about in multiple videos. So love from India. What is up, man? How do you say your name? Baharth? I, I have no idea how to say your name. I am sorry, but what is up, dude? Tanya, thank you, thank you, thank you. Geeky, hey, if you already follow me, then you're, you're good. You know what, even if you are following me, message me. I'll still give you something, but I want to reward the people that are not following me a little bit more because I want them to follow me. <laughs> But I'm gonna give you guys something, I promise. After this live, I promise you. What do you mean your own full shirt? Like, you mean printing your, your shirt, or what? Abdel, thank you so much, man. Thank you. All right, so what, what was the next uh, quote we have here? I heard Streets of Africa next. Hey, Paul, where are you at, bro? Paul, where are you at? Come on, Paul. Yo, thank you, P. I appreciate, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. What am I even saying? I'm like creating alien dialect right now. Yo, Paul, where are you at, bro? I'm about to do your design for you. I'm gonna give him a minute to respond. Anybody have another quote you want me to do? All right, we're just gonna do Streets of Africa because he said so. Oh, Funeral Party Co. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, but I love it. I have like a really good idea for that actually. Let's do Funeral Party Co. Because Paul's not here, I don't think. Paul's on IG. <laughs> Funeral. Dude, my, my computer is like literally like w wigging out right now, guys. I'm gonna have to close this document and open up a new one because this is like not working out. Let's do that real quick. 72. Hey, thank you guys, I appreciate it, man. You guys are so nice to me. All right. So we're going to do Funeral Party Co. We're going to make this one creepy, guys. And I, I'm doing this because I miss Halloween so much, and I cannot wait for it. October cannot come soon enough. Ooh, hip-hop, old-school hip-hop. I did a, a bootleg Tupac design not that long ago. But we're not really focusing on that right now, but we can still do something hip-hop for sure. Ooh, stay high, like high vibes, high energy, all that good stuff. Yeah, we could do that next. Thank you, Jesus. Or Jesus, however you say it. I hope you're Jesus, though. <laughs> Yo, thank you, man. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Jesus, thank you for the five. T-Baby, thank you for level one designer. If you guys don't know this already, I do have a membership on this uh, YouTube channel. If you join the membership, uh, if you join my, my membership program, uh, you get access to cool things, basically. And there's different levels. It starts at um, as little as a few bucks, I think. It's basically the price of a cup of coffee. Anyway, all right, so shit, what was the, the thing again? Funeral what? Funeral Party Co., okay. This one needs to be kind of creepy. We're going to make this one look like chrome. Give me a second, I need to find a cool font for this. Ooh, ooh, I like that. I, I always use this one though. Let's go ahead and do a different one. Ooh, 
I'm feeling like a Times New Roman, like a serif type font or something. You guys have a lot of good ideas, I'm not even gonna lie. This one actually is pretty dope. Let's do this one. Akura. Come on, program. I'm not going to do anything special with the layout. Dude, T-Baby, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. You really are. I appreciate you so much. Uh, maybe Party Co. can be in like a different... You know what? Let's do Party Co. in a SS. Let's do this. Sorry, my Photoshop's lagging a little bit, guys. I need to get a new computer, apparently. This thing can't handle it anymore. Um, let's do something like this. All right, we got that. We're gonna make this a Chrome look, okay? So we're gonna merge this together, convert that to a smart object. Watch this, we're gonna go bevel and we're gonna add a inner bevel. Chisel soft, let's try both of these out. Maybe make it a little soft. No, let's make it harder. Aw, oh, thank you. I find fonts everywhere, guys. There's so many different cool sites out there for fonts. I mean, honestly, you can go crazy just looking. There's so many of them. Let's check these out real quick. Dude, that one kind of looks cool. The simplicity of this one I kind of like. Dude, that kind of looks cool. Okay, okay. Dude, this is gonna be super dope. <laughs> it's gonna be super dope. Let's add a stroke on the outside, or actually let's do it on the inside. Or outside, actually. Very lightly though, we don't wanna overdo this part. Let's add an inner glow. Actually, let's do this last. We don't need to worry about this right now. All right, hit OK. Let's go ahead and duplicate this once. Convert that, or rasterize this layer. Go up to Filter. Go to Filter Gallery. Dude, I use uh, B Behance, Behance. I don't even know how to say it. I use that all the time. How do you say their name? Is it Behance? I can't even, honestly, I can't pronounce that. I'm probably dumb or something, I don't know. But I, I've never been able to say that correctly. All right, so we're adding a chrome effect to this one, guys. I'm 
I'm gonna hit OK on that. And then we're gonna change the blend mode of this. We wanna untoggle that other group. And let's change the blend mode. Ooh, okay, okay. Some of these are so cool. That one's really, really cool. Let's change the fill a little bit. Actually, I don't know if I like that one. Let's try something else. That actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> could you purchase it after? Nah, dude, you could just have it, man. I'll give it to you. I'm not gonna make you pay for it. This looks dope, man. Okay, what do I wanna do, though? Maybe um, I'm gonna group these together, add another layer, or like convert them to a smart object. So I duplicated the entire group. Funeral, party, co, like that. And then we're gonna add some uh, noise to this. Add noise, just a little bit, not too much. Okay, we're gonna go to image, adjustments, curves, and let's just mess with the curves a little bit real quick. That looks so so dope. I don't like party the way it is, but it's not bad. I'm gonna do like a purple though, cause it says funeral, so I feel like I need to do a purple. So let's add a gradient map over this. Four set inside by adding a clipping mask, and let's go to purples. I don't know why I'm feeling this like purple look right now. Is that just me? I gotta find the right one though. Hmm. Maybe gold would be kind of cool. I'm not even gonna lie now. I kind of feel like gold might be cool. Do we have some gold colors in here? Let me find some gold. We have red, oranges, cloud. We can always just add gold, it's not that big of a deal. Grays, pastels. Let's do grays maybe? No, not grays. It's good to mess with the blend modes a lot. Uh, what do I want to do? Let's try adding an inner glow instead and see if this can like kind of help it. Sometimes when you add an inner glow, you get a better look. So let's go ahead and go to that gold color that you were referring to and try this out. Ooh, this looks kind of cool. I'm not even gonna lie, I like this a lot. I kind of like the subtlety of this one. You know what I mean? Like it's not too obvious, but it's there. Huh.
Um, we haven't yet, man. I was actually, Paul, I was waiting for you, dude. We're going to do it like right after this, I promise. Do you hard light, maybe? Or is that too much? I kind of like the soft light, man. What about you guys? I like the subtlety here. I still feel like it needs to be purple, like that. Like this. Let's duplicate that one more time. Rasterize. Maybe add a 3D effect. This is gonna kill my computer right now. Maybe this is a bad idea. This might be a terrible idea. Legit. Or the best idea in the world. Who knows? All right, let's render that and see what that looks like. We'll do some 3D shit, why not? Let's give that a second. I might add another gradient to this, but for now I really like the subtle purple color in there. It just makes it look more real, in my opinion, instead of it being so obvious that it's purple. Um, do I do private lessons? Yes, I do. But um, I do charge like 50 an hour, and I have to book it ahead of time, and it's all ha it has to be paid up front, because I have too many people bailing on me. So um, I don't mind doing private sessions at all. But uh, again, I, they have to be booked up, uh, they have to be booked ahead of time and um, you have to pick how many hours you want to have me for, and then I can do that. This is going to take 44 minutes, guys. We can't do this. <laughs> it's not going to work out. That's a bummer. Maybe I can save it. So that kind of works, but I'm not I'm not a big fan of that. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. And then um, the next thing I want to do is add a gradient over this and see if I can add that color that we were discussing, which is like the purple colors. So let's see if we can do that real quick. Ooh, this is dope. Since this is a chrome effect though, since this is a chrome effect, I don't want to like take away from the chrome effect. Does that make sense? Like I want it to still show through. And right now this is kind of taken away from it in my opinion. So that's not good. You don't want that. So lighten, screen. Anyway, that's pretty much done, I think. Honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> Somebody said to do Funeral Party Co. So this is the final, basically. I don't know. We can change the color later, but um, that's basically what the final looks like. I'm going to save this to my desktop, and we're going to go to the Africa one now. Um, 
funeral party co. Um, I, I don't, I don't want to discuss like prices or anything online, but, uh, yeah, hit me up on Instagram and then we can discuss it. It's just awkward talking about pricing because things change so much, you know? And if you guys are just tuning in, um, I'm giving away some stuff on my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram first and then... Uh, DM me to let me know that you just followed me and I will give you guys a free code to my website. And I'm going to put my Instagram on the screen real quick. One second. Let's do some text. Add source. Wow, that's so ugly. <laughs> that text is so ugly. Ew. Let's get out of that. No more drop shadows. Ew. Now there's a gradient. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to add this, but this program is terrible. I'm using Streamlabs, it's just, it's a terrible program. Anyway, there's my Instagram, okay guys? Streets of Africa. So what do you want to see for Streets of Africa? What are we going to do for Streets of Africa? Oh, and um, the person that just donated $5, what was uh, the one that you wanted to do? I'm sorry, I just missed that. Random James Bond came to mind. Whoever donated five dollars, um, you said to uh, do something. It was stay high. Okay, so we're gonna do that one second, and then we're gonna do Streets of Africa first. Paul, what do you want to see for Streets of Africa? We're not using any uh, like images right now, though. That's the only thing. Yo, what up, West Blocks? Thank you so much for the five. I appreciate you, man. I really do. Thank you so much. The five dono came in strong. Streets of Africa, huh? 
I'm trying to think of what I want to do for that. <clears throat> All right, let's just try something. <laughs> Anna yelling in the other room. Did you guys hear that? I kind of have an idea. Let's uh, let's try something kind of similar to the first idea. Advertising scripts. I'm gonna do something like this. Ooh, this is gonna look fire, guys. Just wait. I'll check my DMs after this, guys. I'm sorry, I can't do everything. Uh, I, it's like, I wish I had like a partner to help or something, you know? Like some somebody I hire or something to help because it, sometimes it gets hard to do everything at once. Oh, I know, we're gonna add the up in a second. I'm just trying to figure out what I wanna do first. We are gonna add the of, I promise you. Streets of Africa, drop shadow. Dude, any time, man. We're just having fun, guys, you know? Like, that's what this is all about. It's, it's all about fun. If you're not having fun, then, you know, you're, you're wasting your time, kind of. <laughs> 
Let's do a capital O F. Yeah, we're gonna add it. I'm just trying to figure out like the basic structure first, which is something I always do before like adding the details. I kind of want the O to be small. Uh, is that bad? Like I kind of want it to be subtle, like right there. And some people think that might think that's stupid, but I don't know. I kind of feel like it needs to be very subtle. Like, look how dope that looks. What color do you like, Paul? I don't even know what to call this technique, to be honest with you. I have no freaking clue. Should we do like a cool gradient? Dude, two-tone color for sure with the of. Like, I'm already, I'm feeling that. We're going to have this E wrapping around. Don't you even worry, guys. Actually, we're going to do this. Watch this. I want to redo this part. I don't like it. Flow. Two-tone color, everybody says. Okay, we're doing two-tone color, guys. What colors? What did Paul say for color? Paul, what color do you want? What about like red and white? Ooh, red and white is dope.
Why isn't this red selecting? Come on, man. What the hell? All right. Red and white? Hell yeah. I'm glad you think so, because I think that'd be so cool. Ooh, look at that, man. Red and white. I think it should be opposite though. Maybe of is like red. I don't know though. What do you guys think? Uh, green, I don't really think green should be there. I know that's probably more Africa though, but I just, I feel like it gets really messy when you add too many colors. I almost feel like there needs to be like a background color on streets. Like there needs to be two colors, right? So we need to go maybe convert that to a smart object, add white. I think it needs to do something like this. Somehow. No, I don't like that. You know what I you know what could work actually? Hold on one second. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate it. It's not quite done yet, but we're getting there. We are getting there. I really want this gradient to be very subtle. Dude, I'm rocking out, guys. It's starting to happen, man. It's got this like really grungy graffiti style, but I dig it a lot. Thank you. I got a good idea, guys.
Is that cheesy as fuck? <laughs> Excuse my language, but oh my god, I think that might be cheesy. It's probably the cheesy. I don't know, I kind of like it though. Or maybe it can be in the background, faded. You could do dissolve mode and gradient. There's so many ways you could do it. Oh my god. Like, the possibilities are freaking endless. You never want to upscale, like I told you guys, but for this one, I'm just going to do it real quick so I can show you what I'm trying to portray here. Even this looks super dope. Even if it was just in the background like this. Cheesy. <laughs> um, use the country as the O for the of. That's, nah, that won't work, man. Because it doesn't look like an O. It gets lost in translation after that. I kind of like, I might do a different version actually. You know what? I'm gonna keep this as is for now. Huh. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna make this one version. I'm calling it. We're gonna do that as one version. So we're gonna do version one, make another one. Or we're gonna make a, yeah, we're gonna make another one. And I'm going to take this again. Simple's better, guys. I'm telling you, man. Like, if you do stuff that's simple, you're always going to win. Ne no matter what, you're going to win. Promise you. Simple always wins. I, I learned that the hard way in this merch industry. It's so much better to do simple stuff. You could be as fancy as you want to be, but telling you, the person that does things simple are, are the ones that are going to win. They're going to get it. Oh, you know what I accidentally did? I just realized this. Rookie mistake. I merged everything together on an accident. I didn't mean to do that. We're gonna rasterize this. Merge. Bam. That's what I was trying to do. What I need to do is cut this out. I don't want two of the same thing.
No. Nope. Don't like it. Dude, I'm not that good. You could do this in Illustrator, I'm sure. It's a little harder, honestly. But uh, you could definitely do it. And guys, keep in mind, I'm taking five seconds to do things. So if it's not perfect the way you thought it was going to be, like it's, it's, this stuff takes time, man. I'm doing this in like freaking minutes, you know? It's like... You can't expect results in minutes. It takes more time than that. I'm just throwing that out there. Honestly, you just come up with ideas, man. I mean, at the end of the day, if you don't try things, you're not gonna know, right? So the best thing to do is just try things. That's literally all you do is you try things and, and see what happens. And if it works out, then, then cool. But if not, then keep trying until it works out. I like the red and white, or sorry, the, the white and red. Like, I like how Africa is white, and I like how the streets of Africa is the red and black. It, it, to me, it, it contrasts really good. I think of is a little big for this particular case, but I mean, overall, I like it a lot. I want to experiment with one more idea, though. Yeah, like we got two variations, right? We have that one and then we have this one. And if we want to change the color, watch this. You add a hue. Look at that, done. See that? That's so poppy. <laughs> yeah. I would say photo. Uh, I would say uh, Photoshop and Illustrator are both really good for T-shirt design, but. Um, it depends on your goals, right? Like, it depends on the type of design. Like, for something like this, I could totally do this in Illustrator. I don't have to use Photoshop. But if I'm doing something that requires image manipulation, then you definitely want to use Photoshop. It's just better. You can't do the same thing in an Illustrator. Illustrator's vector-based, uh, Photoshop's raster-based. Uh, photos have pixels. Remember that, guys. Photos have pixels, okay? When you're using a real-life photo to do something to it, when you're trying to manipulate it in any way, create these compositions out of a photo, um, you're gonna wanna use Photoshop. It's based, uh, it's pixel based. I still like the white better, just saying. Doesn't matter what way you do it, you know? I, I like the white better. I wanted to try version two. I want to try one more version, guys, before we wrap this up. Let's 
shit. One second. Actually, I have one more design after this. I'm not, I'm not forgetting about you, uh, Jesus. Oh, I was like, why is it that color? That's why. You have to make sure this is white. When you add layer mask, white uh, adds black deletes. It's a good thing to remember. Yeah, yeah, we, I can make, not this particular one, because I'm doing this specifically for Paul, but um, yeah, we could definitely make these available. All right, well, there's three versions, Paul. That's three versions right there. I'm going to move on to the next design. Um, all right, I am so sorry, but what was the next one for Jesus? Can you repeat that, Jesus? I'm so sorry, man. I got so much going on. I'm trying to, trying to do one thing at a time here. What's the next one? Uh, we could do gr we could do a uh, chrome on this one. That'd be kind of cool. Let me go get something real quick online. I have a I have a good idea. I'm gonna try a Photoshop effect real quick and see if this will look cool for you. What kind of fonts do you like? Do you want like a hip hop font? Do you want that same uh, script that I was just using, or do you want like a cleaner font than that? You're going to want to export these as a PDF, a PNG, all that good stuff.
Cleaner? Okay, we can do cleaner. Just one second, guys. I'm trying to get something real quick. All right, so we're gonna go for like a cleaner look, okay? All right, this is not working. Is this for like a clothing line? Do you want clothing on it too? Like, do you want it to say clothing? All right, let me let me try something real quick.
that looks so dope. <laughs> Three. Bam. Ooh. Ooh. Co. I should put clothing at the bottom, man. But we'll do co for you, but I feel like clothing would fill the bottom out better. Okay, why is he, why is Photoshop doing this? Come on, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Look. All right, Photoshop. YouTube's gonna ban me for saying the F word. See, if we do clothing, watch this. Way better. Way, way better, bro. Yes, 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 yes. Did I just get rid of Co? Why did, oh no, we changed it, duh. I was like, what the hell's going on here? I was actually like confused. Dude, this looks so dope. <laughs> We're not done yet. Dude, I'm digging this freaking song right now.
Kind of looks like a balloon. <laughs> Yo, what kind of color do you like? What color do you want on this? Ooh, that's fire! Holy shit! Holy shit, this is fire. This is actually fire. Don't matter? All right. Dude, this is so sick. Let's take this, group that, final, final version one, duplicate that, convert that to a smart object, and let's make the saturation and everything better. I don't know about better, but more saturated. All right, dude, hit me up on Instagram, Jesus, and I'll give you that. Guys, that is it for me today, all right? I, I'm, I gotta get, get some stuff going on today. Um, one second, one second. Yo, okay, so I gotta go, guys, because I actually do have some stuff I have to get done, and I have to prepare for other videos and stuff like that, but um, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for tuning in to this live today. This was a special one for me, because this is kind of my comeback, and um, I haven't done a live in a long time, and. Um, you guys made this one so amazing, and I cannot wait for the next one. I promise I will get better about uh, doing lives and scheduling them ahead of time. Um, you guys are awesome. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the support. Because of you guys, I'm able to do this every day, so it means the world to me. It really does. And um, without you guys, I would not have that plaque behind me. It's because of you guys. So anyway, thank you so much. I love you guys. Hit me up on Instagram if you uh, haven't followed me already. It's at Charlie Pangus. I will send you guys a free discount code to my website. To download my mock-ups and all that good stuff and if you guys have a design that I did today hit me up on Instagram and I'll email that to you thank you guys so much I will catch you in the next one keep creating keep being awesome all right